Good morning YouTube, this is Richard Kittlestad. Hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be our last video on how to use the Fourscore application on the iPad. So we're going to pick up right where we left off. Let's tap the middle of the screen and have the options button come down. The top right icon will bring the other options tabs down. And this video is going to focus on the bottom right of the screen as we're looking at it now. Now Fourscore has a lot of cool things in it, but one of the things that sets it apart are the additional functions that most won't have, such as a pitch uh, calculator or finder allows you to match pitch correctly. Now let's bring up the tab back down. You have a tuner available. You have a piano available. Obviously not the most professional one, but it does the job for simple things. You have a record function. I'm not going to click that so because I don't want to mess up our audio here. But one of the cool things I like about Fourscore is when I'm playing piano, I'm tapping the screen right or left. Right, left. But if I'm playing quickly, I sometimes hit the screen with two fingers by accident. And what that means is it will change the whole score because I have it set up that way. Sometimes I need to change the score quickly by hitting it with two fingers. I'll show you what happens when I hit it with two fingers. Changes the score completely. So let's go back to our score. Now let's go to the options tab. And you have a tab on the bottom right, middle bottom right, called perform. When you click that, it allows you to hit the screen with just about anything, whether it's five fingers or four fingers, and only go right or left and it eliminates any of the other functions you can set for your score while you're performing. This eliminates the possibility of you um, making a mistake during a live performance, which is very embarrassing. I've had it happen to me many times. So I've definitely learned my lesson there. So let's show you that again. You click the Perform tab, and on the top right, there's a little blue dot. It's actually an uh, inverted X. So that's how you get out of the Perform mode. So now let's go to the, the Options tab on the right. You have a Q tab, a console tab, which allows you to mirror your device. Now you have devices, which allows you to connect with other devices around you, whether it's an Android phone or an iPad or any sort of mechanical device that has Bluetooth capabilities. You have a backup button here, which basically will set it back, say, right when you open the application. It'll, it basically backs up all your scores in a zip file. So that's pretty cool in case you ever broke your iPad, all your stuff will still be on your hard drive, but I prefer Dropbox. You have a support tab, which will go into your user guide, which is basically what we're, these whole videos are about. But we have a settings tab on the bottom. Before I click that, there's obviously the TV output, which uh, if you have your camera setting, you can put this on your TV. Let's go to the settings tab. Now I'm not going to go through all these, you can look through these, but you have different types of gestures you can use such as one two three four finger taps whether you want to do a three finger search two finger two fingers to change the scores one finger to turn pages that's typically how I have it set up you can um, set it by a uh, to flip between certain scores page transitions uh, a MIDI recorder page turners and shortcuts um, you can have different effects for how you want it to be viewed and quite frankly, there are actually a few things in here that I've never even seen, so it's definitely worth exploring. But for the most part, this is about everything you need to know about the Fourscore application and the benefits it can have. If you watched all four videos, you can tell it has quite, a, quite an immense collection of options to perform, whether it's turning scores, collecting scores, editing scores, or sharing scores. There's very few things this application doesn't do. And for five bucks on the iTunes store, it's well worth it. And I recommend you guys going and getting it. And hopefully you can receive the same benefit that I've received through the last two years. Without this application, I would, would not have been able to bring all the scores that I share with you to you. So with that being said, this will end our video on how to use the Force for application. If you really want to learn how to collect a lot of scores, I would like for you to watch my video regarding how to use the Scribed application, which I'll link to in this video.
Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and this series, and I hope you find it helpful. Please share my channel, and please subscribe if you feel so inclined. And please check out my piano covers. There are quite a bit to see on my channel. Anyways, once again, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in many other videos. Have a great day.